AT&T, it's one of the most powerful conglomerates in the world. It's the largest telecommunications company on the globe. It's also, not incidentally, the parent company of CNN. That means a massive amount of America's digital infrastructure depends on CNN, a massive amount. If AT&T and its CEO, John Stanky, decided to prioritize foreign interests over American interests, that would be grave news to every American. We're learning tonight that in at least one instance, that's exactly what AT&T and John Stanky did. We've confirmed that AT&T lobbied the Department of Commerce not to levy sanctions against China Telecom, which is a large state-owned corporation headquartered in Beijing. This was first reported by the National File. Specifically, we know that AT&T worked to keep China Telecom off of something called the Entity List. That list blocks companies from selling American products and technology to certain foreign firms without first getting a license. We're told that China Telecom was set to be sanctioned because of its alleged support of human rights abuses by China's government, and there are very many of those. U.S. officials have said that China Telecom is backed by the Chinese military and under control of the nation's Communist Party, and of course that makes sense. AT&T is a proud partner of China Telecom, has a joint venture with China Telecom. In a statement provided to this show, AT&T admitted that it does not want China Telecom on the entities list setting potential unintended consequences. Corey Stewart is the former Undersecretary of Commerce for Industry and Security. He has firsthand knowledge of what happened, and he joins us tonight to explain. Corey Stewart, I appreciate your coming on tonight. It's hard Thanks to believe that AT&T, an American, you think of it as an American company, would lobby on behalf of a company controlled by the Chinese military. Tell us, if you would, what you know about this and why it happened. Well, you know, I was, as I was undersecretary, uh, it was very disturbing because uh, we had a lot of indications. Uh, there's very good intelligence out there uh, that uh, the Chinese government, through its, its basically state-owned subsidiary uh, of China Telecom, has been using cell phone technology, telecommunications technology, uh, to track minority populations in China, to spy on them, and then to hand this information over to the China police state, and they're rounding up uh, the Uyghur population, which is a minority Muslim group in Western China, as well as uh, Tibetans and other minorities, and placing these people in essentially modern-day concentration camps, uh, where there's widespread reports of, of gang rapes, of torture, other human rights abuses, potentially even executions and genocide occurring in these camps. And China Telecom was assisting the government of China in helping to do that. When we learned of this, we, of course, in the Trump administration, uh, began to place China Telecom on the entity list to put sanctions upon them when we were contacted by Ed Gillespie, uh, the executive vice president of AT&T, who urged us not to place uh, China Telecom, despite these abuses, on the entity list. And needless to say, we were pretty much shocked by that. Why would John Stanky, the CEO of the company, I mean, AT&T has a lot of different businesses. It's a very successful company. It's a critical company in, in the United States. Why would he jeopardize the image of AT&T by siding with a company that has had a hand in genocide in China? I, it doesn't make sense to me. It, it doesn't make sense unless uh, you assume that despite what CNN and its corporate parents say about protecting minorities and standing up for human rights, <laughs> right. if it's all a lie. And what they're actually doing is placing profit over and above human rights, over and above U.S. national security concerns. And, you know, I have to say that AT&T is not alone. There are other U.S. corporations in China who are turning a blind eye to the human rights abuses who are turning a blind eye to China threatening its neighbors in the South China Sea, who are turning a blind eye to that. What they're doing is, is helping the China uh, undermine U.S. national security concerns. And that is uh, something that we tried in the Trump administration, and we were on the verge of placing China Telecom, uh, as well as other companies, on the entity list. And let me just say this. The staff, the career staff at the Commerce Department, were clearly on a path to do this. If it doesn't happen, that will mean that be, there was pressure from the Biden administration put on it by AT&T to not put them on there. I look forward to CNN covering the story in some detail, given their <laughs> yeah. often expressed concern for human rights. Uh, Undersecretary Stewart, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you.